Hello, this is Dave from Retired Time Productions, and I just had to get one of these. This is the new Champ S Plus from Horizon Hobby, and it's a Hobby Zone product. Comes with safe technology. Okay, before you stop the video, I just want to tell you it's not the normal safe technology. This thing actually has GPS, it has loiter, it has return to home all using the GPS. So it's called Safe Plus Drone Technology. This has some of the features that the quadcopters have, the expensive aerial photography quadcopters, like a GPS and ability to circle around automatically and return to home and things like that. So even though they say this is a beginner plane, it has some complicated technology, so it'll fly really easy if you got all that stuff turned off and be sort of like the old champ. But when you turn the things on, they will give you more added features as well as supposedly more safety, but you still have the thing about the GPS. What if the GPS signal is lost or something like that? What happens? Will it do the, the flyaway routine or something like that? You have to toggle a switch five times? Things like that, so a lot to think about, but I'm just doing a quick, I guess you'd call it a box opening. I just want to show you what's in the box. Okay, so let's take a look. Quite impressed with the instruction manual. A lot of information in here, but of course you're going to need it to, if you're going to use all the GPS technology, that Safe Plus technology, including having to do a GPS calibration. So you have to move the plane around two of the axes before you fly to get the GPS or the compass calibrated. Sorry, I guess they call it compass. I haven't read the manual, but I just saw that in there. So I know we got to do that. And here's the battery that comes with it. So this is a 2S 7.4 280 milliamp hour battery. And it has a sort of the funny plug here that some of the batteries have from Park Zone. Comes with the charger though. So here's the charger and you do get a charger adapter which is over here which will plug in the wall and then you can plug the other end right in there. So you can charge it right out of the box. It has some uh, Quick start guide instructions here right on the top if you're in a big hurry to fly it. And I guess everybody wants to know what is the wingspan? Well it said right on the box but you know you can see it's pretty big wingspan. I'm just going to go ahead and measure it myself just to see. So we got 27 inches so I think that's what they say it is a little over 27 inch wingspan. So this is quite a bit bigger than the original Champ. Also weighs quite a bit more, but not a lot, you know. It's still under the 250 gram weight limit. I think it's about um, 170 grams, I believe it was, something like that. Whereas the original Champ was about 42 grams. So it's heavier, bigger wingspan, but still very light for the size of the plane. And speaking of that, you can actually mount one of those tiny whoop cameras on top of here and they even have the power for it underneath here for your FPV camera. And of course, uh, I think eFlight sells a camera too that's in the manual how to order it. So you can put FPV right on the top there and plug it in. It's underneath this little window. So that's kind of interesting. Battery goes in the bottom right here. And I mean, there is a ton of room in this compartment right there. Ton of room. So looks to me like you could definitely fit a bigger battery if you wanted to. I've seen, uh, this is a 280, I've seen some 300s on Hobby King, uh, Nanotech 300s that actually have this plug on them that will fit in here. And they're, they're about uh, four and a half dollars a piece, something like that. So batteries are available. And yes, it has linear servos. For the price, you about it's about $149, I think, now on Horizon Hobby. So for that price, uh, you know, you wouldn't expect to get really fancy servos, but these look to be pretty nice. They are linear servos, though, not 
not your rotary servos like on the bigger planes. And no, it doesn't have flaps, but it does have, you know, the ailerons, rudder, and elevator. So it's a four channel. But you'll actually probably need six channels to get all of the functions. Uh, the GPS functions, the flight modes, and things. So there are two channels that will have to be added. So you'll probably need like a DX6i radio at least. This is Spectrum compatible. So any Spectrum radio, Spectrum compatible radio will work. Including the Hobby King Orange radios would work with it. Um, in addition to that, there is a little spare parts thing here for the motor. A little prop, that's not a prop adapter, but I guess you could call it that. <laughs> you know, it uh, screws on the front of the motor. And yeah, the, the motor is a brushless motor. And it's, a, I think, a 180 size. Yeah, it's right in there. It's E-Flight. I'll just turn it. There's the, the model number of the motor like that, but I think it's a 180, 180 brushless, used on many of their different aircraft. So there it is right there, it's a nice looking plane, very light, and I'm excited about trying it out and trying all the features, and we'll get into that in some subsequent videos, because there's just so much to it, I'm not going to be able to put this all in one video. But I just wanted to get a quick look at the new Hobby Zone Champ S Plus. Now, I guess the S Plus is for Safe Plus. That'll let safe technology I told you about with the GPS. So there it is. Thanks for watching. If you've got any questions, I'll try to answer them. I'll know more once I fly it and try it out. But uh, yeah, just give me a thumbs up if you like it. And don't forget to subscribe to see the following videos. And we'll see you later. Take your flight.